Hey guys, happy Monday. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day for everyone who celebrates Valentine's Day. I know in the U.S. it is Valentine's Day and also other parts of the world. So I wanted to do this quick live tonight before I call it a night because I felt inspired by several conversations I had earlier today with a few of my clients. And I was like, you know what? I get to pour some love into you guys and give you some, some things to ponder, to um, percolate on so that we're moving everyone forward. And my intention is to move everyone forward so with that being said if you're here say hello give yourself some hearts let me know you're here and when you catch the replay comment with hashtag encore let me know that you are here all right so with that being said again happy valentine's day and i want to say something about valentine's day so valentine's day is the day of love and that gets to be not a one-day occurrence it gets to be an every day and every moment occurrence so it's not like we need uh, a day to remind humanity that we get to love <laughs> love on each other and be kind with one another that's not the point it's great to have a holiday like that and also re remind ourselves that that gets to be a daily thing and so there are a few things that i want to share with you that would support you in spreading the love sharing the love and being connected to everything and everyone around you now your net worth is your net your network is your net worth and so if you're not connected and have great connections with people that is going to directly impact what you're creating financially so with that being said I want to say something real quick that we're in Aquarius season so welcome February Aquarians and we will be approaching Pisces season very soon by the end of the month okay so um, heads up for all my Pisces and a shout out to each and every one of you so um, a few things uh, team about the uh, opportunity to lo to love like spread love share some love etc so I was in a Earlier this afternoon, I was in a retreat that one of my really good friends hosted, and I was a speaker at her retreat earlier this afternoon, and it was on the topic of being delicious. She's a love coach. I'm not a love coach. I'm a high-performance specialist, so we do two different things. However, the common theme that we noticed is that um, in the absence of love, there's fear. And all of us, all of us, it doesn't matter where you are, we all experience fear. We also experience resistance. And so I want to give you some things to uh, percolate on that will support you in when you're finding yourself in the experience of fear in the experience of resistance how you can get invite some love in and also how you can create better connections with, with yourself and other people so if that excites you say yes that excites me I'm excited let's go all right so with that being said um, a few things so when you're experiencing fear and you're experiencing resistance connect with what is the source of that what is what is underneath that I was actually talking to a client about that earlier today what is underneath that and give yourself uh, the space uh, to give yourself some love ask yourself if you were loving this moment how would it look differently for you if you were gonna add some love to it what is that gonna look like all right so that's gonna support you with your goals because my vision for you is that you actually get to crush your goals and create the goals that you want to you're here to create so that's number one number two connect with we work with people all the time right i work with people all the time i'm connected to people i work in different uh, aspects with working with people whether I'm teaching training coaching it looks different and also working with groups of people and also private uh, clients it, it just it looks different because everyone has different needs right and so you get to be connected to how people want to receive love and how do you want to receive love because everyone receives love differently everyone gives love differently and it could look like you know you being kind to someone saying something nice if you're not familiar with the book uh, the five love languages you get to connect with that because because it's such a great book and there's also a quiz you can take that can get, get you connected to what your primary love language is and what your other uh, other people around you what their love language is so you can give them uh, give them in the way they want to receive you know what I mean and the way you find out is you ask it's not complicated if you ask people they will tell you you know what I mean so just be honest and ask be vulnerable and ask it's okay all right so that's that so give people what they want. I always, I'm a firm believer of getting connected to what people want and giving them what they want. I don't want to give them what I think they want or my version of what they want. I'm actually, I want to give them what they truly 
want. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to make a difference for someone. All right. So be generous, be giving. You want to be in the space. Part of being loving is being in the space of being generous, being giving, not holding back. And what I mean by that is uh, I always say this to my clients. I say this to anyone I interact with, not anyone, but for the most part. Well, I genuinely love people. I genuinely love being with people. And so I will say that to my class. I'll say, I love you. I'll say the people that I train in a group setting. I'll say, I love you. Like, I truly mean it. I'm not going to say someone, I love you if I, if I didn't mean it. I like people and I also love people. So don't hold back on your expression of yourself with loving yourself and also loving others. Letting people know like, you love them. Like, you know, you care about them. You deeply care about them and you want to pour love into them. All right. Um, I want to also speak into unconditional love and acceptance so sometimes we resist when we resist when we resist we're not fully accepting what is and so the first step for you is if you're finding yourself in that space ask yourself well what if you accepted what is with the intention of shifting i'm not saying be resigned about what is because Sometimes what is, is is like you could be in a breakdown, whether, um, you know, emotionally, maybe in a relationship, maybe in business, whatever that looks like. So what if you were to accept what is and ask yourself, OK, I'm going to accept where I'm at and I'm focused on shifting to being the best version and the better version of myself. And I'm going to give some love to that space so I can add to that space. All right. So how is that going to look for you? All right. So these are things to consider and to embody something. Uh, another thing I was talking to a few clients on uh and this is we all do this by the way we all procrastinate so any of my former procrastinators or current procrastinators you're not alone because we all do so when you're procrastinating think of it this way when you're procrastinating you're you're actually neglecting something so whether it's a project whether it's uh, a relationship whatever that looks like whether it's an aspect of your business when you're procrastinating on it you're actually technically you are neglecting it so if you ask yourself okay how can I give some love to this space how can I pour into this space how can I make a difference in this space it's gonna shift your energy and focus to actually making a difference and focusing on uh, on pouring into that nurturing that um, you know pour, like really like I was saying pouring into it basically right so with that being said these are a few things that I would say big highlights of things that I've been working with my clients on throughout the day today that uh, has stood out that I want to share with you because I do believe in collective consciousness and it's going to connect I'm sure this is this message is going to connect with you because I felt called to leave you this message all right so with that being said here's your mission for this week okay what do you love about you I want you to actually comment below and share what do you love about you specifically what is a trait that you love about yourself? I want you to pour into you. So let's share that about you. I also want you to connect with the people around you and connect with what do you love about them. It's so easy to get frustrated with people uh, about things that, you know, maybe we don't see eye to eye, etc. However, what do you love about people? What do you love about um, what do you love about being with them? OK, and I actually want you. The third step is to go out there and express your appreciation and your gratitude for those people. People, it's you can never, it can never be. A, um, let me say this it's people want to be known and you want they want to be heard, they want to be seen, they want to be appreciated, they want to be cherished. You want to be that person for them, you want to be that person that is the wind underneath their wings and someone who actually pours into people. So, you be that person, pour into people. I'm pouring into you. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I know that the world would be a much better place when we all love and accept one another for who we are and stop judging each other. Stop, you know, um, making each other wrong, all this stuff. I, I do believe in my heart of hearts that love is the answer and being loving and being compassionate and also being accepting of one another despite our views will make the world a better place all right so with that being said thanks so much for tuning in i love you and share what your biggest takeaway was from this conversation share the love share this with people uh, around you so we can spread the love and share the love all right Mwah. thanks so much for tuning in and i'll catch you on warrior wednesday bye for now